From the New York Islanders, we have Anders Lee. From the Philadelphia Flyers, we have James Van Riemsdyk. From the Boston Bruins, we have Zdeno Chara. And from the Tampa Bay Lightning, we have Kevin Shattenkirk. Media, please raise your hand if you have a question for the guys. And as a reminder, please identify which player your question is for. We'll start with Joe Smith from The Athletic. This question is for Kevin. Hey, Kevin, I know we talked to you yesterday. You didn't really have a lot of time before your game to discuss this with the team. But now that you had time, what went into the process for you and the Lightning teammates today on making this decision and, and why do you feel it's important to go through with this postponement? Well, you know, we obviously had a chance to talk as a team last night. And, uh, you know, I think this morning uh, it went beyond that. And we all got together as players um, to try to figure out, you know, what sort of direction we were going to be going in here. Um, we got to speak with some of the players in the bubble uh, in Edmonton. And, you know, when we... <laughs> When we realized that they were, uh, you know, Vancouver and Vegas, I think we're, we're considering uh, sitting out tonight and um, got to speak with them and, and speak with Ryan Reeves and talk about um, obviously the issue at hand and, and how important this is. Uh, you know, I think it was something that we were all fully behind and um, obviously with, with what transpired yesterday and, and the other leagues uh, sitting out, you know, I, I think we felt that we took our time and, and, and were able to process this as a whole and speak as a group of players uh, and, and make the right decision. And, you know, today I think unified us as a, as a, a group to realize that any black player uh, in this league, any black player who's a kid coming up playing hockey um, can feel like that they have a voice, can feel like that, the NHL and, and the sport itself is a safe, <clears throat> a safe place and a place that, um, you know, obviously in a predominantly white sport, uh, they, they feel alienated, but um, they have the support of, of every single one of us. And that's what we're striving to, uh, to achieve here is, is inclusion um, and making sure that everyone feels welcome in, in the sport of hockey. Next question, Andrew Gross, Newsday. Hey, uh, Anders, I, I was wondering, can you sort of take me, you know, we, we spoke yesterday after the game, and obviously you were just coming off the ice, and it was kind of hitting you, you know, as you did that. Can you sort of take us from an Islander standpoint, what happened from that point through the discussions today? And what do you have to do, you know, as a player, as a team, as an NHLPA going forward, you know, once games resume to, to make sure the message stays strong? Yeah, so, um, you know, we had obviously just got off the ice last night when you uh, asked me about this, and we were um, clearly not, not as informed as we are today about what was going on in the other leagues and uh, had an opportunity to, to see what the NBA had done uh, the MLB and and so forth conversations last night woke up this morning um, you know I was seeing these guys around here in the bubble and we are uh, as a union as a players we got together and, and started having these conversations that we needed to have and then um, we did the same as a team after our our uh, video session looking forward to tonight um, but we weren't sure what was going to happen and we wanted to make sure we had these conversations first before um, before anything, obviously. And I think just, um, you know, we came to, to understand and, and to really um, have that opportunity to support, you know, our fellow black players in this league. And they weren't comfortable playing. We were right behind them. And I think, um, you know, that inclusion, that support um, that we have for them is, um, you know, extremely important. And there's a lot of stuff that, um, you know, I don't have the answers to moving forward, but it's a conversation. It's these times to reflect um, that we need to have as a group, as, a, you know, not just in the hockey community, but outside of that as well. And, you know, I think, um, you know, continuing to do our best to make a difference is, is what we have to continue to do moving forward. And there's not a lot there. Uh, it doesn't sound like that, but um, the answers are out there and, and hopefully we can find them.
Next question, John Waro, Associated Press. This is for uh, Stano. It's yeah, John Waro with the AP. You've been in this league for a long time, and what do you make of um, how things have at least changed from the player standpoint in reaching a decision like this and the voice that you guys have in, in, in making this decision um, here? I mean, it's just uh, the fact that, uh, uh, you know, you're just having these open conversations. Um, even you, you are battling on the ice for, for obviously, uh, uh, you know, moving on in, in, in the round and competing for Stanley Cup. But off the ice, we all recognize that we are uh, in the same boat and, and, and we are obviously united and, and we support uh, the stand that uh, uh, other major uh, leagues did and and, and uh, obviously we, we thought it was the right thing to do for us to take the stand and, and um, you know uh, I think it's just a conversation you know you just see that uh, uh, from years back you know this was probably you know it would be very challenging to to accomplish something like this but uh, in these days you know we have this platform and obviously with the, um, this platform and technology you know the communications are obviously uh, much faster and, and uh, you can get the, the message uh, uh, out there much quicker. Next question, Alan Creda, New York Times. Thanks to you guys for doing this. It means a lot. Uh, this is for Anders and by extension, Kevin. I, I, as I know you guys from New York, so socially aware, socially conscious. What does it mean personally to be the face of this message for your fellow players? Well, I think... Um, you know, it's we have this platform as professional athletes and hockey players to to make our communities a better place. And um, I think Kevin and I, as you know, are um, happy to do that. Same with James and Zidano here, and all the guys in the league that are, you know, coming together on something that uh, we think has an opportunity to be better in the outside world. And um, anytime you have an opportunity to do that, I think that's a you have a good chance to, you know, in a, in a position that we're in to do that. So, you know, it's just, you try to do the right thing. And we're trying to do that today in the support of our teammates and um, everyone around the league and, and, and obviously in our communities. Yeah. And I think, you know, just uh, to touch on that, as we discussed today uh, with other teams, you know, there are, many more guys who could be sitting up here and delivering this message who were involved in these conversations today. So um, by no means, I, I think that we view ourselves as a, a face of this. Um, we want every NHLer to become the face of this movement. Uh, and I think that's, that's the most important thing is that it, this isn't just limited to, to one guy. This is everyone getting behind this and making sure that, uh, you know, everyone knows that it's, that it's, that it's a full 100% commitment. Next question, Charlie O'Connor, The Athletic. Hi, guys. This is for, uh, for James. Uh, Akeem Alou told TSN today that uh, you, Scott Lawton, and, and Kevin uh, reached out to Chris Stewart last night uh, for advice on all this. C can you, I guess, talk about uh, what that conversation was like and also what inspired you to, to make that call? Yeah, um, I actually reached out to him uh, this morning. I only got a chance to play with Stewie for, obviously – this season, but I've gotten to know him really well and really respect him as a, as a teammate and as a friend and uh, obviously him being a part of uh, the Hockey Diversity Alliance. Uh, just wanted to, again, reach out to him as someone, again, who's been involved in some of these other uh, conversations that are being had and stuff like that. And obviously for us, I think, again, we're trying to do the right thing and looking for uh, uh, things we can do to show support and kind of uh, be a part of this. And uh, that was kind of the, I guess, the the kind of uh, the reason why we a few of us reached out to him to try to again start some of these uh, conversations and uh, just again see what we could do to try to help uh, help things in this case. We can do a couple more questions for the guys. Ken Campbell, Hockey News. Um, yes, uh, I guess I'll I'll go to Zidano on this one. Zidano, I mean, you know, we've got a situation here where there's going to be two days without hockey. Um, two days without a lot of sports. And I'm assuming that the purpose of all of this is, is to have people reflect on, on these things and think about 
think about them. What, as players, what do you hope to accomplish by doing what you're doing? And, and, you know, what, what would you suggest people maybe reflect on at, at this time when they're not watching hockey? Well, I think that we had these conversations, um, you know, among ourselves this morning uh, with our teams and obviously um, uh, around the league and as a union that, uh, you know, uh, th these days needs to be, you know, used in the right, uh, right manner. Obviously, we need to step back, reflect a little bit, um, you know, just to take a little moment to, to realize what's going on. Obviously, there is a problem in uh, in the states, and and um, there is a you know obviously right uh, right reason to kind of uh, why uh, all the major sports are doing what they're doing right now to kind of uh, make sure that uh, we all realize that uh, needs to be changed, and uh, obviously starts with the conversations and and, uh, and acts that uh, it's going to be very important to follow. Last question, Eric Engels, Sportsnet. Hey guys, this question is for any one of you. You know, at, at the beginning of this tournament, we saw Matt Dumba kneel for the anthem. And uh, I don't know how you guys view that in retrospect, but with you guys all coming together on this initiative and making this decision today, do you think it opens up the possibility that you won't stop yourself from protesting in that kind of manner, knowing that there's more people involved in this discussion now? Uh, I mean, I mean, I think again, it's it's um, it's a chance if if a guy like Matt Dumbo wants to protest and and uh, make a stand and and act uh, in a certain way to to share his beliefs. Um, I think we all as players believe that he should have every opportunity opportunity to do that. Um, obviously. Now, you know, as, as a group, as we make a stand here, um, it certainly opens the door for that. But at the same time, I, I think, um, you know, we always felt like we try to create a sort of safe haven for, for our players and fellow peers to do that. So, um, you know, I think that would be kind of our, our feeling with that going forward.